All right, starting up a new computer art tutorial here. We're gonna make a simple um, image out of text using a feature of Photoshop called the Transform and Warp Tools. And so what we need to start with is any image that we wanna try and create or use the shape of uh, for text. And so I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through what I've got here. So I started out with a um, simple Google search of a fish and chose this fish because I thought it had a nice outline, good silhouette to use. So it's gonna be easiest if you choose an image to use that has a good, easy to see silhouette. And go back to Photoshop. I'm gonna go File New here and create a document. And depending on the size of your image, you may wanna create a different document file size. I'm gonna go with eight inches of width and six inches high and a resolution of 200. Okay, setting that resolution a little bit higher um, so that my text will remain nice and crisp if it gets a little bit larger. Okay, that should be good. Now I'm gonna hit Command V to paste in my image here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take my type tool and start to click and drag to make a type box that is about the size of your subject. Here I want to fill this box with type. Okay, so um, any, you can get creative with your fonts um, if you'd like, but this probably ends up to be mostly best legible if you use um, a very straight edged font like uh, Myriad Pro is kind of a, a good default one, but any font that has uh, straight edges, you know, Arial Black could be another one. Um, although that gets very bold, but Myriad Pro is a good one to go with. Very straight, no serifs, um, so that should kind of work well for what we want to get here. If it has too much serifs and things like that, it can get confusing with uh, the letters. So what I might do is just take this, um, I was going to take this box and actually make it just a tiny bit smaller because you want the, um, the size of the box to actually be just about the size of the text. You don't really want it to be too much bigger than the actual size of the text here. Um, and now I'm just gonna move this right over about the middle of the fish here. So what I'm gonna need to do now is rasterize this text layer. So I'm gonna right click on it, go down to rasterize type. And now this is going to be uneditable. I can't edit the text in here. This is set in stone and now it's an image, it's rasterized. So now what I wanna to go to is edit transform and I'm going to use the warp tool. You notice this kind of gives you a grid that goes over um, your text here and that allows you to click and drag to move different points and all of these intersections of text, all, the, or all these intersections of the grid are points where you can click and move things. So I'm going to take this top part here and kind of bend this to fit nicely inside his head there. I'm going to then take these points here and decrease the size a little bit here so that fits inside his body there. Um, and then I'm gonna take these corners and make them into the fins way down here. And now, like I said, we can click on really any point here in this line and then I can use these um, little tools here to kind of change the angle or the arc that's going on. And I might take this point actually and move this up. Maybe bring this down a little bit so it fits inside his body there. And then I want to take this part and just move it up a little bit higher and this one down a little bit lower. So really fun to play with, warping shapes. Let me bring this down so I can bring this up. All right, and well, that looks pretty good. So, um, you know, I could keep playing with it a little bit longer, but um, for the sake of moving along, 
we're going to go to the next step. So now what you can see is obviously without the image behind it, a little hard to tell that it's a fish. So I did add in some details um, just using my pen tool. So if you take your pen tool, um, make sure you change your options up here from path to shape if it's on path. Um, choose your fill color. For this particular example, I'm just using black and my stroke color as nothing, no outlines on the shape I'm about to draw. So then I'm just going to go ahead and once you start clicking, click one point, we'll put down an anchor point, there's a second anchor point, third and fourth back on the first, um, and that creates kind of fin shape that I'm going to keep there. And then I'll do this bottom shape as well. And that just kind of brings it together a little more. If I don't have my image behind it, I can tell that it's a fish based on the shape of things here. Um, now the couple last couple things that I might do to this um, before calling it a day is just adding a couple effects. So if I go down to my effects uh, panel down here, we can add all sorts of effects to it. I'm going to add a couple things, a drop shadow and uh, a bevel or embossment. Um, but feel free to play around with any other things you want to, um, outer glows, inner glows, all kinds of good stuff in this effects panel. So going to do a drop shadow first. If I move this aside, you can kind of see how the drop shadow is working. Um, now, if I can mess with things like the distance, so the distance between where the shadow is and the text, the spread, so how heavy that shadow is, spread around right around there seems pretty good. And again, the size right around there seems good too. And then if I want to, right while I'm in the same uh, menu, I can go up here to bevel and emboss. Um, and this was actually a preset that I had uh, used on the other one. So if you are going through styles and you don't see this on inner bevel, let's do inner bevel. Um, depth, you can feel free to change the amount of depth. You know, if you make it more, you kind of get more highlights there. Um, I'm going to keep it kind of low-ish, right here around 65, I guess, 65 to 70. Somewhere in there should be fine. Again, some more options you can feel free to mess with size you know right around 24 seems good softening at zero seems fine and then i'll say okay and then i've got a pretty cool looking kind of more three-dimensional um looking logo or uh, or just kind of piece of artwork here um little piece of text art using the transform and warp features in photoshop so i hope you have some fun and be creative with your own creations